Hey, here we go. So I am playing some scare claws and this is one of the craziest decks in the game and nobody plays it. The way I know nobody plays it, this card right here is the main starter in the deck and it's been played at 0.03%. So what this card does is you basically reveal the monster from your extra deck. It becomes the same name, type, and attribute. And then the second effect allows you to search for a cybers monster. And what cybers monster? It has to be a level five or higher, by the way. What monster would I search for? Parallel Exceeds. Parallel Exceeds has been limited to two. Uh, Lightheart will allow me to search for the field spell. So Parallel Exceeds, if you have it in your hand, don't search for the second one. Uh, I'm going to pop the Lightheart with the Visa Starfrost to resummon. Now, when you search with this card here for the other card, if you have Visa Starfrost in your hand, you search for Rykard. If you have Rykard, you search for Visa Starfrost. And if you have neither, you search for Rykard. Sometimes I still search for Visa Starfrost even if I don't have Rykard, depending on what I need. Um, if you need to know how to do the combo with just only four must skipper in your hand refer to some of my other videos do the entire combo with only four must skipper not the entire combo that you're going to see here because nemesis flag will act as an extender and the visa star frost acts as an extender so i'm going to search for an arrival right here and then go into baron de floor now i could go into baron de floor or i could go into chaos angel right here if i go into chaos angel it would have both effects unaffected by monster effects and then also it won't be able no monsters will be able to get destroyed by battle so long as this card remains on the field now how is that beneficial well basically it would protect people from just crashing into your big boss monster scareclaw tryhard it would also prevent them from just crashing into this so that's where that card comes in handy so i go ahead and go into a second light heart oh yeah by the way this card is not once per turn so i search for a second uh field spell for follow-up and then i'm going to go into dagda dagda triggers the parallel exceeds parallel exceeds triggers the dagda works in in sync I, I mean what more could you ask for right dagda allows me to set a scythe face down on the field i use these two to go into ip mascarena now Typically, what you would want to do is leave the IP Masquerade on the field and link off during your opponent's turn using the site as material. But I'm going to need to clear space on the field to make the full board that I'm going to make. Then, since I have Nemesis Flag in my hand right here, basically, I'm going to just banish both of these to summon out Visa's Astral Out right here. Vicious Astral Out. And then Nemesis Flag is going to unbanish one of the monsters. I search for Nemesis Corridor, and I think y'all know what's coming. Then I go into Scareclaw Tryheart to clear some space on the field. And then I go ahead and activate Nemesis Corridor. Nemesis Corridor is going to banish another monster, going into none other than Thunder Dragon Colossus. And then I'm going to activate the Scareclaw Arrival right here. Use these two monsters to go into Predator Plant Verde Anaconda. Boom, activate the Predator Plant Verde Anaconda to then go into DPE. Now you see why I made all that space on the field. If you don't understand why I made all that space on the field, well now I could keep every single last one of these monsters on the field if I wanted to, and I could activate uh, DPE to pop the field spell and the scythe, and then I still would have the space that I needed to summon that scythe if I wanted to go that route, right? Now, what I am going to do right here is activate DPE and I just go ahead and pop these two so then that way they don't just continuously summon a bunch of monsters and crash into the Predator Plant Verde Anaconda. Now, the board that I had set up, right, I had the scythe. So then that way I could scythe lock my opponents, set down here the DPE so I could pop the scythe. Um, Scareclaw Tryhard puts everything into defense that hits the field. It is also unaffected by defense position monsters. The scythe locks them out of the extra deck so they can't go into the extra deck. Then I have Thunder Dragon Colossus. They cannot add monsters or uh, cards from their deck to their hand. So they are locked out of being able to search. Baron the floor acts as an Omni Negate, and then I have the Field Spell, which can pop cards on my turn, which I don't really care about this card. Um, if anything, I have another one in my hand, so I can still get the effects there. So let's see what happens. 
So my opponent is going to Lava Golem, two of my monsters, and then basically just end his turn. Because what could he have possibly done? Even through a Lava Golem, what could my opponent have possibly done? He couldn't search, still can't search. He would have needed to Lava Golem both Thunder Dragon Colossus and he would have needed to Lava Golem Scareclaw Triheart and then play through the Baron de Flor Negate for him to really just do anything and he still would have been locked out of the extra deck but at least he would have been able to search and he would have been able to put his monsters into attack position would that have been beneficial trying to play through an omni negate as well i don't know so basically he would have been able to pop off this card reads right here when this card is activated you can add one live twin monster from your deck to your hand he would have got that search effect but he still wouldn't have been able to go into his extra deck, which live twins need to do that anyways. So he just has to just hold that L for now. And then DP is going to come back to the field. Now, at this very moment right here, I could just go ahead and activate this to pop this card. But I don't really care. I got DP on the field. I can do it with that. I go ahead and activate Water Enchantress for follow-up, by the way. Oh, yeah. The Adventure Engine is in this deck. He's going to droll and log bury me. Doesn't matter, I got enough on the field to just attack for game, my boy. So, Ron surrenders. GG's, my boy, Ron. Let's see what deck he was playing. There we go. Normally, live twin sprites are absolutely insane, but against me, eh, not, not, not really, my boy. He's got a scythe lock in his deck as well. And I know how this scythe lock works because I play live twin sprites as well, but he ain't doing that to me. So, let's see what the amazing deck that I was playing now this is the deck that I was playing crazy 60 card scareclaw deck and you didn't even see everything this card can also use Diabell star to set this trap right here and then it has a way to actually loop this trap so then that way you can keep playing it over and over and over and over and over and I know what you're thinking eventually Mike eventually you're gonna run out of wanted's and you won't be able to use it no more well guess what not if you got this card on the field. When this card gets on the field and it becomes active, basically anything that gets banished gets get put back into your extra deck. So you can almost never run out of resources if you have this card because this will allow you to keep cycling these cards back into your deck. So basically it makes it to where you always have the resources that you need. Makes it hard for your opponents to really stop you. And then at whatever point, if you want to put something from your graveyard back into the deck, basically all you have to do is just link this off. Just that easy. Um, also, Keystone is a looping card. So, this deck is absolutely insane. Now, this is so much different than your typical Scareclaw deck. I'll show you. So, this is how everybody else kind of plays their Scareclaw decks. It's like this. Uh, usually they use just, they, they, they literally rely on just the, the summoning of DPE and then just popping the scythe. And it looks like this guy doesn't even have the scythe in his deck. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, yeah, he does. Artifact scythe right there. Uh, and then Dagda. So basically he's just relying on hand traps and basically popping the scythe, trolling lock bird, and just kind of just using just the scythe lock and hoping that'll do everything. Well, my deck does so much more than just this because it doesn't rely on solely just scythe locking your opponent using Scareclaw Defanging. Like, it does more. Um, it might be powerful. I don't know. It might be super powerful, but you tell me. The simply scythe locking your opponent or going into a full on board that they have to break to be able to get into defeating you because with formula skipper that allows you to actually extend if you just literally go dpe and scythe and you pop the scythe and then rely on hand traps now if they stop your dpe you lose the game with my board they stop my dpe I still got Baron de Flor on the field. I still got Scareclaw Tryhard on the field. I still got uh, Thunder Dragon Colossus on the field. And in other hands, I might have uh, Diabell Star with the Negate right here. So 
a ton a ton of interruptions that this deck can put up and this just so happens to be the one that i consider to be my negate scareclaw deck now i do play more versions of scareclaws and i'll, I'll actually show y'all some of those decks as well so we got the scareclaw negate deck is what you just saw right there this is the one that i was using in the link uh synchro event this deck right here is absolutely insane as well uh, this one basically can just put up a bunch of big link monsters. So basically you can get like an Unchained Abomination, uh, Crusade Avermax, Appaloosa, Boa the Goddess. Uh, you can go and Boral, Boral in Dragon, just all kind of craziness. Uh, you can also just hit your opponent with a Kurikari. Oh yeah, by the way, this particular deck right here at times, you can just search for Kurikari because of the Diabell Star. And basically off of the snake eyes right here and there's times where if you end up getting the diabell star you can actually go into borrow load a savage dragon as well very easily with multiple negates on that one because this is a deck that can synchro and link very well the other one uh this one does more linking than anything and then this is just a standard scareclaw deck that i have that has just a bunch of hand traps and just basically a 60 card deck that just plays like scareclaws like the one that y'all saw so hopefully if y'all like this video you know give it a like and tell me you haven't saw anything this crazy i'll catch y'all on the next one peace